Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about what you can do in case FIFA 22 is not opening, not working, slash not launching, or any error like that. We've done a video like this every year. I've done a video for FIFA 20, for FIFA 21, and we make a video again for FIFA 22 because the same issues can appear on FIFA 22 as well because, you know, EA is not caring so much about the PC version of FIFA. So the PC version of FIFA has a lot of issues, errors, a lot of hackers as well on the online modes so we have to do with all these while playing FIFA 22. In this video I'm going to show you a few things that you can try in case you click on the game and then this cloud sync appears then this launcher appears and when you click on play the game simply doesn't launch you can see a process in the task manager but the game won't open for some reason. This is an error that could be found in almost every FIFA season 17 I think so this is pretty annoying. First of all, we're gonna do the obvious things. We're gonna repair the game. So we're going to my game library, then scroll to the game, click on it and then click on settings and here click on repair. As you can see here, this will verify the game files and will verify the integrity of all the files, of all the important files from the installation of the game, the DLL files, the settings files and so on and so forth. So after this process is finished, of course, try to open up FIFA again and see if it helps you at all. Another thing that we can try is to update the game to its latest version. This can sometimes help. So just click on settings again and then click on update game. And maybe if you don't have the latest patch for it or the latest update for it, you could have these issues where the game wouldn't launch. So just click on update the game, the files will be verified again. And if you are on the latest version, you're gonna receive this message, you're all set, FIFA 22 is up to date. So you can close this and we can move on with the other steps if these didn't help us. So for the next steps, it is really important that you sign out completely from Origin and you completely close Origin. So to do that, we're gonna have to go and click on Origin and then click on sign out. As you can see, we are now completely signed out from Origin and also make sure to close it from your system tray so that Origin is completely closed. Now, what you have to do is to press the Windows plus R key at the same time on your keyboard and here type percentage program data percentage and then press enter you will get to this location locate origin double click on origin and from here you have to delete all the files except this local content folder so in this program data origin location you have some cached files some temporary files that origin is going to automatically update when you log in the next time but be careful to not delete this local content folder because it can contain some saved files, some important files from the game. So it could lose content if you delete this local content folder. So just go and delete every file except that local content folder. Press shift delete in order to delete the items permanently and then click on yes. And here click on continue. After you deleted all these files, we're gonna have to delete some files from another location. So we're gonna do that right now. Now we're gonna use the Windows plus R key combination again but this time we're going to type in here percentage app data percentage and now we're going to have to locate the origin folder from the roaming location this time delete the whole folder just shift delete on it and it will be automatically deleted and then click on up data up here and then go to the local folder and again locate origin and delete the files or the folder completely again shift delete press enter and the file will be completely deleted. So you will see that when you next stop log into Origin, you're gonna receive some messages like you opened up Origin for the first time because we've refreshed all the files. So make sure to enter up your information correctly like the country or region and then click on save and okay. And now go ahead and try to open up the game. This time the game should work. For me, this method worked like a charm in FIFA 20, FIFA 21 and also in FIFA 22. But I'm gonna show you a few other things that you can do in case your game still doesn't want to start up or launch. Another thing that I've tried sometimes and it worked for me was clicking on origin and then clicking on go offline. I was in the offline mode, I tried to click on play and then play the game. If it didn't work, I exit out from here and then go and click on offline mode and then click on go online again and then try to play the game again 
and this time should work. Yeah, this is a very weird solution, but for me, it worked multiple times. So I'm not sure what's this all about, but it's really interesting that this worked. And of course, the ultimate solution, if the game still doesn't want to launch, is to uninstall and reinstall the game completely. And you can do that by right clicking on the game and then clicking on uninstall. Of course, the process will take up to 30 minutes because the game has like 60 or 70 gigs, but you should try that also if none of these solutions helped you. So in this video, I showed you all the solutions that worked for me in the previous years and also this year. If somehow you managed to fix the issue in another way, just let me know down below in the comments and I'm gonna try to pin your comment or make a comment with other possible solutions so we can help each other and other users that encounter this error. So I'm hoping that for every one of you who watched this video, the problem is now fixed and this video helped you. If the video was useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBased, until next time, have a nice day.